Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a new episode of the Mini Cooper Rebuild. Sorry for the absolute huge delay on the, on the, on the uploads. I um, had loads going on, loads going on with the car. I'm back at work now, it's kind of hard to sort of juggle it all in one. I've got this place, which is I'm moving my business premises to here. So I've got all this going on. So the MIT, it passed, went straight through. Uh, I think it needed four new uh, brake line hoses, um, which we did. The ABS fault was the hub, that got repaired. The system, as in the coolant system, wouldn't pressurise, head gasket. Clutch, wouldn't bleed up, need a new clutch. So, out of my hands, there's nothing I could do. I'm so busy with work at the minute, I've handed it to my local garage, Web Ellis Autos. Link in the description down below if, you ever, if you're local and need to use a garage. Top guys. Um, so they decided to take the engine out, because it's easier obviously to do the clutch and the head gasket, so the engine's come out. Did a compression check, I think on all four cylinders there should be around about 175. Yeah, they came in at 125, so it's, it could be a mixture of things. It could be, well the head gasket's definitely going and it's probably piston rings. Clutch wouldn't bleed up either, so the clutch was worn or it's wearing, so the intention was oh, I was going to do the clutch and get them to do the head gaskets because I haven't got the time or the tooling to do it. As you know, life gets busier, things are getting, you know, things are moving on, especially with this place. I sort of handed it to them and said, look, you guys do it. I, I want it back on the road anyway. And it's one of them, where, where do you stop? Where, where do you, whilst the engine's out, what, what do you do whilst you're there? So let's do it all. I've agreed to do it all. Let's, let's put a new head gasket on it, let's put a new clutch on it. Let's oversize the pistons. Let's put some forged con rods on. Let's put uh, Newman's, phase two cam on it. Um, let's go all out, let's get a few more ponies on it. So hopefully by the end of this episode, hopefully, we will have the car back. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Let's go and have a look. So that was the car in pieces at the garage. Couldn't do too much filming because I don't want to get in the way. Um, in the meantime, I've had a bit of a parts order. So I've gone for the Forge uh, blue silicon hoses and the Pro, I think the Pro Flow, Pro, Pro Motorsport, I think they're called. Pro, well, just Pro hoses, uh, auxiliary. And the clips, which are, I don't know where they've gone. They're somewhere floating around. Um, got this cheeky little number from eBay. I don't know, Flea Bay as they call it. Just some good reviews on it to be honest. Coil pack. And obviously it all matches look, it's all matching. There is a method to my madness. Uh, I've had some good, there's you know, been some good feedback on these. This is an MTC new intercooler. So it all matches. Uh, I also got some rubber grommets to go under here, like rubber washers to go under here, because apparently these can snap off if you just do uh you know, like metal to metal. Yes. This is a Newman's high lift cam. This is the phase two, I think they call it. So they do three for the Mini Cooper S. Phase one, two, and three, obviously. I went for the middle one. Uh, I think the phase three gives can give a lumpy idle, but correct me if I'm wrong on that. I don't know, but I, I went for the middle one anyway. Uh, and it was the only one they had in stock, so. Um, and what we've got in here? Uh, got the bolts. Bolt for the cam camshaft. Oh, they're the rubber grommets. Uh, I've also got a 70, oh, wait, oh, at the minute on the car there is a 15%, 15% pulley. So I've upgraded to a 17%, which is now at the garage, but I bought some new new spark plugs. Apparently these are recommended with a 17% pulley. I don't know what spark plugs I've got in it at the minute. When I did a service, I didn't really take note, but you know, I might as well. New header tank, standard mini header tanks are known for leaking so I had a bit of trouble getting hold of some pistons and con rods which are in there these are obviously from Orange Motorsport uh, I've been in contact with about three different companies this week trying to do, do you know it's one of them when the, when the companies advertise that they sell something you ring up do you have them in stock yeah yeah you've got them in stock right but they'll take a week to get to you so you haven't got them in stock then I managed to get hold of some 
in the end on next day. Uh, and these are Wasner. I think I'm saying that right, I'm not too sure. Forged pistons and rings. These are a 77.5. Standard bore is 77. I've gone for half a mil oversized. Um, they're meant to be good. So they're going in. Obviously the block's got to go off to the engineer, I think, which he already has actually. So I've got to drop these off to him tomorrow. He's got to rebore it and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, and then I've got, again, Conrods, all out of stock everywhere. Uh, but 13, 20 mini, obviously everyone will probably heard of them. They do their own Conrods, so I bought some off them. And then obviously the uh, ARP bolts to go with it. The only thing I'm missing is uh, bottom end bearings, but the, apparently they're all out of stock. And I think the normal one's King, Kingpin or King or something, K1s or something like that. They're out of stock everywhere. Uh, everyone's getting trouble getting hold of them. So the engineer has sourced some. So he's going to do all that when, when I drop all that off. But other than that, we should have a pretty decent setup. I have no idea what power output is going to be. It's probably going to need a remap, I would have thought. Um, but we'll get it all together first, uh, get it back and, then, and see what happens. All right, so I've gone for the Miltech manifold with the decap pipe. And then in this box was a strip race. Again, from Orange Motorsport. Just sort of finished the engine bay off nicely and obviously helped with the handling.
So that's it, all done. Engine's rebuilt. It's back home. I've done about, I think they did, I think Garage did about 30 mile. I've done another 100 or so since then. So obviously got to bed it in, be gentle, not go over two and a half thousand revs and all that. Um, well, I'll just put load on it, not let it tick over, etc. Drives superb now, especially that clutch has made a huge difference. And the engine, obviously, it runs a lot smoother. It is definitely, definitely going to need mapping uh, to, to make, obviously, benefit everything that's gone on in the engine. Uh, but I'm going to put a few miles on it first before I decide to uh, map it uh, and find out where, where to go to get mapped. Uh, anyone got any experience with minis and mini tuning? I've got a couple of places in mind, but if there's anyone out there that knows any decent places, uh, drop it in the comments. So aside from the obvious parts that are visible, it has had absolutely everything done to this engine. It's had the block reboard, obviously, the crank polish, cylinder head's been refurbed, main bearing set, big end set up rated, ARP headset, uh, cylinder head gaskets, head bolts, timing chain kit, uh, obviously oil and filter change and a new water pump, all new gaskets, new manifold, obviously. I don't know if you can see it down there. Yeah, new manifold, obviously all these blue hosing everywhere. New header tank, which has made a hell of a difference. Um, so there isn't a great deal that it hasn't had. <laughs> oh, even the uh, supercharger has been serviced in both chambers. Um, it, it just, it, do you know, it just made sense while it was out. Let's just do everything, just for peace of mind. You'd be stupid to try and cut corners at that stage and not forgetting the high lift cam as well, the Newman's uh, Phase Two, which sounds awesome. You can actually hear the cam through the exhaust. I ain't going to turn it on now because it's quite quite late and the exhaust is ridiculously loud well i think it's loud anyway but you can definitely hear that cam through the exhaust it ticks over lovely so yeah we've got a pretty strong engine now um i'm probably gonna get a few comments on this on the old jubilee clips i think anyone knows these intercoolers the clamps which are the snoot clamps which are here they don't clamp down very well uh, and cause a bit of leaking. So we've put Jubilee clips and it's worked. I have heard that if you grind a couple of mil off of these, then it does squash these down, but that is working. So I'm gonna keep it like that for now. Um, you know, all the old parts that have come off, old manifold. If anyone needs any bits, give me a shout. I've got a few, tinted these. Give it a bit more of an aggressive look to be honest i think it looks pretty good like that i've no idea what they're going to operate like in the uh in the dark can't see them being brilliant but it looks cool so the video should be a little bit more frequent now now that i've got the car back and uh like i said i, I wasn't expecting to do an engine rebuild after an mot to be honest so uh yeah it's back in my possession i can crack on with the interior at last um i'm gonna drive it around for like a couple of weeks like i said before just to put some miles on it so it'll probably be a couple of weeks before another video is out but we're gonna, I'm going to hit the interior, strip all that out, um, but just make sure the engine's all right first. So I'll wrap this episode up. That's this one done. Again, sorry for the delay. Um, and a huge thanks to Web Ellis Autos for sorting all that for me. They've done an absolute sterling job. Like I said previously, I have been using them for years. They're great guys. Dane, Mark and uh, Lee, can't recommend them highly enough. They really have done me a proper decent job. And also Richard at Wards in rugby. I know Richard's quite popular in the engineering side of things with cars. Um, but yeah, massive shout out to him. He's, he uh, did a wicked job on the, uh, the head and the cylinder block. So yeah, that's this one done. I'll uh, see you in the next one. <laughs>